In this video, we're going to take a look at the Pocket PC Companion briefly, uh, just to show you the capability of Logbook Pro extended to the PDA devices that are available both in the Palm and Pocket PC and Pocket PC 2002 market. Uh, we're looking at a, a uh, emulator on the PC here that's actually uh, in sync with the Pocket PC in the cradle. So um, you'll actually, obviously, I can't use a pen device for uh, controlling this, so I'll be using the mouse um, here on the PC. In the programs area, you have the Logbook Pro icon. Logbook Pro is installed carefully via the installation procedure as outlined in the help file. The installation is part of the main Logbook Pro software. It does require a separate registration for $29.95 at the uh, time of this video uh, being created. The um, registration is entered both on the PDA and on the PC, and once that is uh, accomplished, the data can then be transferred from the PDA up to the PC. But let's look at the functionality here of the PDA. Clicking the Logbook Pro icon will bring up the uh, Logbook Pro software on the PDA. We have four entry areas available uh, for your certificates, ratings, history, and logbook. And then we have four reporting areas to get information, but your most frequently used information, your currency, status, look back, information, flight log stats, and summary bar information. Let's go ahead and we'll make an entry in uh, two places. We'll make a, a history entry. We'll pick an event from the list. We'll use a class one medical. We'll pick a date. We'll say the 5th of February. Just as on the, the uh, PC side, it will automatically calculate the date due. If you have a entry here on the PC and the date is overdue, it will be read. And this is a test from the PPC, the Pocket PC. And then we'll go ahead and hit the Save icon. We have now saved the entry on the Pocket PC. The next time we use ActiveSync by Microsoft to sync, sync the data up to the PC, it will automatically be loaded right into the Logbook Pro PC software. Now let's make a flight log entry and see how this works. Click on the Logbook icon. On the display, we can select the date by clicking this field. Okay, uh, making a flight log entry is real simple in the Pocket PC. We can actually click on the date field, and that will bring up a calendar where we can change the date if we so desire. Uh, we'll, we'll use today's date. We select the type, and we'll use Cessna 172, and we'll watch the autofill work as the Pocket PC has all the power of the PC as far as the autofill, rec recently used data, etc. We'll just put in a bogus ident and uh, um, if we want to put in block time entries, you can uh, use either the, it'll either use the same date, so we can put in a uh, we'll go ahead and enter a time. Um, we'll say we took off at 1800, and then uh, we'll go. And as soon as we click off of the, uh, well, we don't have the takeoff to land. Let's see if we have that set here. Yep, we head out to end. Uh, so we'll go ahead and make a quick time adjustment, which will cause this to fire. And there we go. Five-hour flight is what we have in. And uh, as I showed you, we also have the tools options capability here to set a few things, such as enabling autofill. Uh, we have one click auto entry, vice double click auto entry on the PC. So all you have to do is click in the fields, and we'll show you that in action. So in the event that uh, we had a lot of instrument time, we'll see the one click auto entry. I'll click once, and there we have the five hours appear. Maybe it wasn't the full five hours. We can uh, drop it down, and uh, there's the landing, uh, the number of legs, etc. We can go to other screens of information, such as approaches. Maybe we shot an ILS on this one. And uh, withholding, we can just click in the field, and that will set a value of 1. You know, if you shot two ILSs, you can obviously change that. But a very rapid method of data entry, just by clicking in the fields, will allow that information to be filled. Uh, we can, our custom fields will uh, synchronize down. And as the autofill had set, we wanted the jet time to be uh, auto-filled to match our duration. We have custom yes-no. So pretty much all of our customization that is available on the PC is brought down to the uh, pocket PC or the PDAs, both the uh, Palm. They have identical functionality. The uh, 
So let's go back to the general screen and we'll save this entry. And remember, we are making a five hour flight. <laughs> yeah, super tur turbocharged Cessna 172. But for the example's sake, a five hour flight. I want you to remember that because we're going to look at this on the PC after we synchronize the data. All right, so uh, that is the uh, entry, data entry overview. We entered one certificate and we entered, uh, I'm sorry, we entered one history item. So we'll show you that that's there. But we also have the four reporting areas. We can take a look at our currency. And there's our groups, the currencies within the groups, and the date that they expire. And these currencies are as of the last synchronized date. They do not take into effect the flights that you currently enter. So keep that in mind. They are static values. We can take a look at our flight log stats. We have our total hours, total lands, total approaches. And lots of information. We're just going to take a uh, quick look uh, through all these items. Here's our flights and our look back information, just like on our PC. There's our hours view. We'll take a look at the summary bar, and we can look at our summary bar configuration. Remember, we can have up to 10 items on our summary bar, and depending on that configuration on the PC, that very same configuration will be transferred down to the pocket PC. All right, let's go ahead and close. Uh, that screen uh, that we were looking at with the report and we'll close the pocket PC and then we'll go into the PC uh, software when we return and um, we'll show you how it synchronized up. So we'll see you in just a second. Okay, we're going to take a look now at uh, bringing our pocket PC PDA data into Logbook Pro. Uh, we made the entry in the history area as well as the log area, so I'm going to force to synchronize. So we'll go ahead and have the uh, information synchronized up, so we'll wait for the pocket access, which is what the uh, item is for Logbook Pro's pocket PC to PC interface. So we'll wait for that to synchronize up. And then as soon as it is, we'll actually see uh, a merge queue become available within Logbook Pro. When data is brought up from the, PC, from the PDA to the PC, it is not directly entered, so you have one final chance to uh, make sure you don't have erroneous data being brought into the Logbook PC uh, program, so we actually bring it into the merge queue. If your PDA and PC are registered, again, the PDA companions uh, require registration at $29.95 per key code, We'll go to the Pocket PC Companion. You'll see that this top menu item is now active, saying there is data available to bring in uh, that was transferred up, and it's now in the merge queue, awaiting transfer for the Pocket PC uh, from the Pocket PC Companion. Also, if we start up Logbook Pro and there's data in the merge queue, it'll ask you whether or not you want to import the data, or you can actually hit the cancel button, which will cause the merge queue to actually be purged so the data is not imported at all. So let's go ahead and import the data. <coughs> the PDA data has been imported. The uh, pocket PC automatically purges itself, so once the uh, data has been imported into Logbook Pro, uh, the pocket PC will automatically delete that data. There's no reason to manually purge it. All right, remember our five-hour flight? There it is. It was brought in right from the pocket PC, our Cessna 172, our fictitious end number of 123, from LAX to JFK in five hours. There's our out, or our takeoff and land times, our 4.6 of instrument, and as you can see, very slick how the information was brought right in. And you're saying, hey, how about that history item? Didn't we bring in a history item? Well, let's take a look. <coughs> There it is, the Class 1 Medical, accomplished on 5 Feb 03, and there's the expiration, and this is a test from the Pocket PC. So as you can see, a uh, very unique capability uh, to be able to carry Logbook Pro on your PDA, and then while you're on the road and in your flights, when you come back, transfer them right up to the PC, and you don't have to worry about any of your quality time at home being in front of the computer. Your data is already entered. So that was. this has been a quick look at the Pocket PC uh, companion and its interface with the